Hello, it's Nicolette, and today we're talking about French Christmas movies. Now, initially, I thought about just including the most well-known or cult classic French Christmas films. So ones like La Père Noël et une odeur, or the incredibly long, depressing ensemble film En Conte de Noël. Instead, I just decided to pick four French Christmas films that I genuinely enjoyed, and hopefully you will too. Let's get into the list. This first film feels like one of those made-for-TV movies that you start to watch and then just end up sitting through the whole thing because it ends up being kind of enjoyable. Let's be honest, isn't that what most of us want around this time of year? Les Rois Mages is a movie that follows the three kings, yes, like the Bible story, who on their way to see the baby Jesus in the stable get caught in a space-time warp and are transported to the 21st century. I know, just, just go with me here. They're determined to continue their mission of finding the baby Jesus and end up in Paris, where they meet Masha and Joe, Mary and Joseph, and do everything they can to find the new messiah. As expected with any time travel comedy, there are a lot of jokes, gags, misunderstandings, and because it's around Christmas time, a lot of people genuinely just think that these three kings are part of some sort of church Christmas play, which adds a whole other layer of humor to it. Again, I'm not claiming that this is some sort of cinematic masterpiece, but if you just want a light, fun Christmas comedy, this is definitely for you. This next film technically is a Christmas film. Uh, it takes place around Christmas, someone buys a Christmas tree, there are a bunch of Christmas decorations and lights, but if you took out the Christmas elements of this movie, technically it would 100% still function as a movie. Dans Paris. I was on board with this movie even before it started because it stars Romain Dury and Louis Garel, who are arguably very high on the list of my favorite French actors. So yeah, I was very into this movie before it even started. It takes place over the course of a day and focuses on the relationship between two brothers. The older one just went through a breakup, moved back home, and has fallen into a deep depression. The other one is this kind of aimless Lothario type character who is a bit irresponsible. He has like 20 girlfriends around Paris and is juggling that as well as some money problems. As the movie goes on, you learn more about these characters' backstories and are able to see how these two very different brothers love and support each other in their own way. I found this film to be really unique. It had great performances and somehow did a fantastic job of balancing serious, darker subject matters like suicide, depression, divorce, with a really refreshing, fun levity and humor. There's a great soundtrack, some dance sequences, and even Louis Carrel breaking the fourth wall and talking directly to the camera. And of course, the obligatory shot of him in bed with a girl reading a book which seems to be a common thread in most of the movies he's in. So if you just want a solid French film with a little bit of Christmas spirit sprinkled into it, this one's for you. But honestly, you could watch this movie at any time of the year. If you're looking for something a little more cinematic, maybe a little older, potentially in black and white, something that film school kids would talk about, this next one's for you. Ma nuit chez Maud, My Night at Maud's. This 1969 film was written and directed by Eric Romer, who was part of the French New Wave. Honestly, I feel like Romer is one of the most underrated, least talked about New Wave directors. Everyone's always talking about Truffaut and Goudard, but you know, Romer's got some solid films. There's something about his work that is just so lovely and intimate and very philosophical. My Night at Mods is a part of the director's Six Moral Tales, which also includes films like La Collectionneuse and my personal favorite, Le Genou de Claire. Like all of the films in this series, it's very focused on exploring the morality of a character's thoughts and actions. It takes place in Paris a few days before Christmas and follows Jean-Louis, an engineer with a strict moral code and his relationship with two different women. One is a young woman he spots at church, becomes infatuated with, and decides he wants to marry. 
The other is Maud, a divorced woman who he meets at a friend's Christmas Eve dinner and ends up having a long discussion with about religion, marriage, and love that ends up challenging his strict mathematical and philosophical approach to morality and love. Romare chose to film this in black and white, which is very fitting for the stark contrast between these two women and what they symbolize. And overall, it makes the moral conflict that the character is grappling with in his head much more pronounced. So yes, this isn't as colorful and fun as some of Romare's other films, but it's classic and it's very well done. It's an especially good choice if you're really into long philosophical discussions about religion and morality. Overall, it's, uh, it's very French. But if you want a Romare film that is slightly more colorful and romantic, I would go with Conte d'Hiver, A Tale of Winter, which is part of his Tale of Four Seasons series. And you guessed it, takes place at Christmas. This final film I'm going to consider the non-denominational pick because I don't think it ever mentions Christmas, but it still kind of feels in the Christmas spirit because it involves a bunch of people going on a winter break ski vacation. Les bronzés font du ski. This is a 1978 French cult comedy, which was weirdly translated into English as French fried vacation too. I'm not really sure why they picked that, um, but the literal translation is basically like tanned people go skiing. Which, okay, I see how that might not be super appealing as a title. Anyways, I wanted to include this on the list because I was laughing out loud from the first frame of this movie. It's a very French comedy in that it involves a lot of physical comedy, slapstick type stuff, which the French seem to be very into. It's basically a bunch of people on a ski vacation and a lot of stuff goes wrong. It's kind of in the vibe of National Lampoon Christmas Vacation, but like, if it was French and taking place at a ski resort. And actually this is um, a second film in a series because the first one takes place during summer. Um, so yeah, it kind of is like the French equivalent of that series. So there might not be a lot of Christmas stuff in this film, but it is definitely a laugh out loud, funny watch. Well, that's all the movies I have for you today. If you have other recommendations for French Christmas movies, please leave them in the comments. I would love to know. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Merry Christmas. Au revoir.